in Philadelphia working when he fell from a three-story tree. His injuries prompted him to begin writing. Hello, I'm Anita Harris. And I'm Robert Henson, your host for Writer's Cafe. On today's show, this writer will share his story of going from someone who almost never wrote to becoming the author of a book. We'll find out how his upbringing and background inspired him to write, and we'll take a look at the book he's written and learn what goals he plans to accomplish as a writer, so stay tuned. He hated reading as a child, but a fall from a tree that almost crippled him inspired him to begin writing. Here to tell us more about his career is author Joel George. Did you write on editing? No, sir. I sent it off and had it edited. Well, you know, I find you an expert in, in, in the Bible, meaning the, the knowledge, of, being knowledgeable of the Bible. And when you wrote that, did you pray for inspiration to apply it to what was being led you to, to, to write? Yes, sir, I did. Um, the Spirit actually spoke to me. You want me to write for you? And the Spirit said, yes, I want you to write for me. So that's when I began writing. But yet, in the spirit, I could write for 12 hours. And how long did it take you to complete your rough draft of that? Of the writing of the itself? the writing itself, yes, sir. Uh, in the space of three and a half years, the signs and the uh, visions that I was having and the dreams, uh, the signs God was showing me in the sky and on the ground, uh, he took the space of three and a half years to show me these things and it, it kept going on and on and on and uh, I say my Lord uh, it seems like it's not going to stop so I said long as you have me seeing these signs I guess that's how long you want me to write so it, it lasted about three and a half years of uh, showing me um, his way. Can you talk about some of the signs you saw? Well the signs I began to see is after I began to pray, a son, uh, like I say at the time, uh, God blessed him. He was six months at the time when I got injured. Uh, I would take him to the park and people began to see a light shining about me and my son. And after that, um, I would ask my son, what, what, what did they see? And he said, I don't know, daddy, but they saw something. So then certain things, I, I began to see a, a sign in the sky which is in the moon there was a cross that outshined the moon that it was a huge cross that the spirit would wake me up out of my sleep and tell me go look up into the sky or I would see birds uh, of sevens uh, there would be seven packages uh, money on the ground everything was sevens that God had did so there was some of the signs that I, I've seen with God showing himself Symbols and signs are wonderful things, and what we want you to do in uh, coming up in the in the new segment is to uh, excuse me, Joel. This let's hold this for the for our next segment. Up next, we'll learn about the goals Joel has set for himself as a writer. When you pick up a book and let your imagination break free, you won't believe how much fun it can be. Experience a world of adventure and endless possibilities. Get tangled up in a good book. Explore new worlds. Read. Author Joel George joins us again to share his goals and accomplishments as a writer. He'll also let us know about upcoming projects he's working on. Would you tell about how people can, can also react or what they can do uh, to spread the, 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 what I want to say, the power, the, uh, the accomplishments of God? Well, uh, as I did, uh, I waited for the sign, and, uh, and that's what I'm here to do as people. I'm here to help motivate other people and help them uh, become writers and become, maybe they want to do something else. Uh, God has blessed me to be multi-talented in many ways so I'm here to help people uh, that's my job that's my goal it's not about me uh, it's about what I can do for someone else and through the writing has caused me to help a lot of time people think it's about self uh, Jesus went through what he went through for us it wasn't for him 
So what I went through, it wasn't for me, but it's for how I can help someone else. And that's my job, that's my goal, to help spread this word and, and let people know that after reading this book, they'll know just what to do. Well, how can people get this book? And I know they're gonna put it on the uh, uh, screen also for you. What I do, I have my own book distribution and send the books all over the world. Ah. And I do it like that uh, because I can help give back to the community. So the money that I could be giving to the stores, I give that back to the community. Like I say, a lot of people is out of work or they don't have work. Uh, Sometimes you just need a, a little encouragement of words and stuff. And that's what this book is about, to lift people up and let them know that God is in control and he has everything in control. Mm -hmm. And you can be blessed. Yes, this book. I, I know because uh, I, I read your book, read portions of your book, and and uh, the thing about the signs of God after prayer, and I, I do pray, and I'm, I'm a Christian, and I pray as I come to uh, school every morning, and, and I look for signs. Matter of fact, I look for the signs that was in your book, which are the <laughs> birds. Uh, one sign that you had, of course, was seven, seven birds that always would, would be on the power line and so forth. Of course, I'm watching birds now, as I come to the school, see, looking for the the signs. Yes. So you you, you blessed me with the book. It's, 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 it's other things rather than what God is going to assign them. I have to explain to people that it's God's signs. It's nothing to do with me. Uh, it's nothing to do with me. It's all about God. Especially after reading the book, they come up to me, they touch me, ask me if I'm real. And I said, yes, I'm real. <laughs> they said, I can't believe a, a person went through all what you went through and you're looking like you're looking. I say, uh, when you see me, you see God. And, and that's how it is. Uh, it's not me. It's the God that's in me. And I'm, I'm glad to be a chosen vessel. Uh, and I had, uh, uh, I got many uh, people that writes to me after reading the book tell me how blessed she said I, I didn't believe that you went through all this stuff she said I had to ask God myself she said I don't go out on my porch uh, she said but the spirit told her to go out on the porch and read the book and when she read the book uh, she said I'm telling you to your face I, I didn't believe you she said but uh, when I read the book she said I asked God for a sign and she said as soon as she prayed she looked up in the sky and there was a sign she said now I believe <laughs> what projects are, do, you, do you have coming up that uh, uh, I, I know this is a major focus it is but do you have other books that God is inspiring you to write or uh, what it, what other things uh, you, you seem to be a very busy busy uh, <laughs> disciple yeah. yes I, I, I am busy I, I've been so a lot busy of my family I, I haven't seen since I've been home uh, a lot of people in the hospital and I had to get God's work out of the way first. I had to go and uh, pray for people in the hospital. Uh, some people have been you know, put out of their home because I've been so busy doing that in spirituality. So what I do, I counsel people and uh, free counseling family and uh, I feed people. Uh, I do all these things and I help people get started. I'm helping people uh, publish their books. So, you know, uh, if it's not a book, I'm helping people, uh, teaching them how to fix things. Uh, whatever they need to, to, to do, whatever God blessed me with. Uh, I have all these projects going on and I have help, you know, with people, there's more people coming together and, and, and helping and helping out. So I thank God for that. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Before we part, I would like to leave you with something to think about. Literature is one of human nature's greatest treasures. Our ability to read, write, share, and share our beliefs lets us learn to coexist with each other. Until next time, for Robert Henson, I'm Anita Harris. And to you, he will answer any questions that you have. Once again, it's one of the best books that I ever wrote, um, had a chance to read. And actually, once you read it, you'll want to go back and read it one or two more times, and maybe even more. But once again, get the book, and if you you will be blessed, and I promise you, you'll walk away with a better outlook on life.